I'm Dr. Samantha Durland. And I'm Andrea Hootie. And welcome to another episode of The Body Shop. We're super excited to be back for the fall season. We are going to recap some of the subjects we've covered before, but hopefully with new applications mean them, make them even more meaningful. We're going to start with football. And with football, let's think of the three different types of athletes. We have the lateral reactive athlete, the rotational athlete, and the linear athlete. So when we talk about football, um, as with other many field sports, there's um, the middle of the field where the scrum is happening uh, for the most part, which includes soccer too. Um, and then you have the outside of the field, but then you have your skill players. So body typing plays a huge role in a lot of um, programming and what we do for the athlete to keep them healthy. So if you're in the middle of the field and you're constantly taking a hit or slowing something down or pushing something, um, you tend to be a little bit more mesomorphic and bigger. So a lot of the um, exercises that we do creates mobility, which is the total opposite of what you're trying to train. And then if you're on the outside of the field, Usually there's a timing pattern, so that makes you posterior chain dominant, so you know exactly where you're going, but like a defensive back is a reactive one because they have to react to where you're going. Um, and then the quarterback sometimes, depending on if they're a skilled quarterback in the pocket thrower, is a rotational athlete, but then you have other quarterbacks too that like to run, like um, Mahomes. He, he's a running quarterback, so he's kind of like a, a linear uh, quarterback. So it depends on, one, your body type, it depends on your skill level, and then it depends on are you healthy, and then we look at all those things to create a program. And it's so fun because I've not really thought about it in this way before, just being a mother watching their kids play sports and watching it on TV. But it's so fun that you think that all of us as individuals love to do what feels good, um, but to be mindful of what- And what you're good at. Yes, <laughs> but to be mindful about the things that are the opposite of what you're good at, because if you only do what you're good at, you push it so hard, you don't have the opposite to protect your body from injury. Well, it's like, um the wideouts in football, they tend to be long, lean, and we call them linear, long, lean, and linear, and they get really good at running a pattern or running a straight line. They don't change direction very well, and one of the main injuries that we've always dealt with for football players in the off season are ACL tears because then they go in and play basketball. Well, they're not equipped or ready to play basketball. They're not ready to break, right? So they're a great athlete, but they are designed to accelerate where basketball is more breaking than anything. Oh, it's so fun. And I thought also this season as we talk about things, I was gonna to touch upon just some simple health tips aside of all the amazing things that you say, because even though there's so much that goes through our minds, if we don't get the simple plays right, we're never gonna get the advanced plays correct. So I just wanted to say to drink water. How many times do I have people that come in and they want to know about what supplements to take, how should they eat, what diet is the best, but you ask them what do you drink and they don't drink enough water. Water is a basic play. It helps your brain feel better, it helps prevent infection, it helps your gastrointestinal system, it helps everything. And a rough measure of how much water everyone should drink is about half your body weight every day. I oftentimes tell folks to drink 100 ounces of water every day, which may be a bit excessive, but I fully know that they'll get more like 50 or 60 ounces, which is right on the mark. So thank you for joining us for this episode of The Body Shop and tune in with us next week for our next discussion.